Hey everybody, Rich again. Welcome back to the channel. We're going to be doing some maintenance on my utility trailer today. So I picked up some mulch the other day with my truck and noticed that the tail lights were not working on the utility trailer. So we're going to be replacing uh, the lighting system on the trailer. Uh, it's getting pretty old. Um, and some of the bulbs and things are cracked and, and the wiring is getting a little worn out. So we're going to go ahead and replace it. I bought a kit from um, Harbor Freight and I believe it's about $40 to, to, uh, for the kit and it has LED lights on it. So it is a little bit of an upgrade of, from what I currently have. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get started on disassembling the old stuff, which shouldn't take too long, and then putting the new, the new lights and the new harness in place. So here's the kit that I bought, and uh, you know it comes with your tail lights and your side marker lights, and then it also comes with the wiring that's required, including the uh, plugs. So this is a really nice kit, um, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and replace what we've got on our on mine. It's the old style uh, filament bulbs, and it's seen better days. I'm missing the uh, side marker uh, cover here and the other side's cracked as well. So let's go ahead and get started. breaking off apparently. So I have uh, these things have been they're rusted on and the back side of these things were just spinning. Um, so I had to break the thing off of there which you know doesn't really matter and I just got some channel locks to to hold it while I basically break the nut off because that's what's been happening to all of them. All of them have been just snapping off. So whatever it takes to get them off, I guess. Okay, let's open this up and see what we what we got inside and start laying it out <clears throat> for to get it wired. All right, so it gives a whole bundle of wire and a bunch of splices um, and wire nuts. I don't know if I'm going to use that or if I'm just going to solder it. Um, I mean, there were splices on there before, so it worked a long time, but I, I, I'm pretty sure this is probably where it failed. So pretty nice piece. This is the, for the license plate <clears throat> and um, the ground wire. And this will just go on the on the back side of the piece. You just make sure you ground that <clears throat> before you put that nut on. And here are the side marker lights. A um, little bigger than what I had before. And then it comes with a, a license plate attachment. So let's go ahead and uh, wire it up. All right, so the new side marker lights are a bit different from the old ones. The old ones had a, a bolt, well, it's broken now, but it had a little bolt that came out, a stud that came out, and then you put a nut on the back side. These are mounted with two screws on each side, which A, this little metal angle iron's not wide enough. So I think what I'm gonna do is just mount it like this. I think that's the best route to go. I don't know if that looks better or not. Um, do it like that. 
like that. I guess I could do it that way, but I'm just worried that it'll end up over time and I'll end up turning down. Well, I guess with that thing there, it won't really, won't really do it. Maybe I'll just drill, I'll drill a hole that way, and that way it's somewhat like it's supposed to be, or like it was before. <laughs> As long as I don't break it. So I guess the best thing to do is just go ahead and stretch it all out, lay it out, and then we'll see how it, and put it back in there, lay it underneath there. Yeah, it's two separate wires. They have it separated like this. <clears throat> My old one was all, the wires were all connected together. Um, this is actually better though because my old one had a brown and you had to splice it but this one actually splices it here at the plug so you got a brown wire for each side which is nice but I'll still need a brown for the side marker lights so I'll have to splice off of that but this is likely longer than it needs to be so I can probably cut a piece off the end of this so I'll run the tail lights first, and then, then whatever excess I have left, I can use to uh, tie into the uh, side marker lights. No, it's in a knot. How the hell did that happen? Shoot. All right, so the last thing I'm going to do is um, take the, uh, the main harness and, and put the ground to the frame of the trailer. That's what I'm doing here. I'm just doing it. This is the original spot, so I'm just redoing it right here. So the last thing that I want to do 
um, before I say complete, is to go ahead and put some um, some wire loom on these wires because that's kind of what uh, caused my problems to begin with. These wires ended up getting exposed to the uh, to the elements and sitting outside all the time in the sun and the cold and and uh, they just didn't get protected and so it just broke down over time and that's kind of why they went bad. <clears throat> Alright, so that should keep it protected. Okay, so I hooked it up to a car battery because I had one uh, in the garage rather than back the truck up, so I just wanted to kind of test it. So, hooked it up, and uh, as you can see, the side marker lights are working, and the rear is working, and that side's working, and that one's working as well, so uh, I think we're looking good. So that's the stop light and the blinker, so those are working. Just some overall um, reviews of the product. Not too bad. Um, the only thing that I noticed that was kind of problematic was in the directions. They show only one wire coming out of the back of this. Um, that goes to the brown, which is the constant uh, running light. Uh, however, there is actually two lights, uh, two wires coming out. There's a white wire, and that's for a ground. And so all I did is just put a nut and bolt on this to um, to ground it to the frame of the of the actual ut utility trailer. Um, so that is something that I had to do extra that wasn't really in the directions or they didn't even let you know that there was actually a ground wire coming out of those lights and then I had to um, actually the the length of the the ground wire from the plug was a little bit short and I had to extend it to get it to fit um, my particular area where my ground is uh, that may not be an issue for some people but it was just you know I needed it to be a little bit longer um, but other than that it wasn't too bad they give you just about everything you need um, in terms of splicing and wire nuts and things like that if you wanted a basic uh, connection. But uh, I used um, shrink sleeve and some crimped connectors that do do a little bit better, a better connection just to keep uh, moisture out of it. And um, But other than that, you know, it, it came with just about everything you need to, to get the job done. So I think it wraps it up for this project. Um, if you enjoyed this and it was helpful to you, you know, please like or subscribe to my channel. Um, and uh, be on the lookout for other maintenance items that I need to accomplish with this trailer. Um, one, looking at uh, the bearings and then also needing to purchase some new tires for the trailer. So um, I'll be updating you on what I end up selecting on those. All right, so for now, I'm signing off.